Okay, so today we have a pretty interesting looking problem because we have a divided by 4 and again a divided by 4. A lot of you could solve it like this. a divided by 4, so pretty easy, is that's 2. a divided by 4 is pretty easy, 2, and one more division from here, and we get 1. And that is not correct according to the PAMDAS rule that says that we need to do the left operations first if we only have one type of operations. In this case, we have divisions. So we need to do this first, this second, and this third. We cannot just do this, then jump to the third, and do the second one afterwards. So let's do the first one. a divided by 4, it's pretty simple, that is just 2. Uh, then we get divided by 8, and divided by 4. And again, we need to do this first, because that is the left one. Uh, 2 divided by 8, that's, let's write it right here, 2 divided by 8. That's pretty much the same as 1 divided by 4, if you think about it. We just divide 2 by 2 and 8 divided by 2, and we get pretty much the same. We can simplify the fractions like that, if we divide uh, the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So, okay, so we get a pretty much better one, because 2 divided by 8 is a not a bigger number, but it looks like a bigger number, and the calculations are much, much more difficult. So we get 1 divided by 4, and let's also divide it by 4 from here. And if you have two fractions that are divided, we can also do this as a fraction, so don't worry, we can just divide by 1. We can simplify and transform it into multiplication, so it is 1 divided by 4 times 1 divided by 4. This 4 was transformed from 4 divided by 1, and we had a division here, to 1 divided by 4, but with multiplication. That is the thing we need to do here. And now multiplication is pretty simple, we just get 1 over 16. And that is our answer. I hope you enjoyed that.